Hello friends, uh, today we want, want to talk to about, uh, with the gallbladder stone. What are the gallbladder stones? That is called cholecystitis. Cholecystitis, uh, we would like to discuss in few uh, headlines, few headings, like what is gallbladder stone, uh, when you diagnose a gallbladder stone and cholecystitis, what are the differential diagnoses, I mean similar other diseases that mimics a gallbladder stone, how, how you will investigate, how you will check it, confirm it and what is the plan of management. Plan of management means it could be a conservative, it could be surgical and type of surgeries available at this time and post-surgery follow-up. So we will discuss one by one. So first, uh, first is what is gallbladder stone and how it presents to the doctor. So gallbladder stone that is common, uh, commonly called cholecystitis, it presented with the pain in, when a patient comes with the pain in the right upper abdomen, right upper abdomen radiating to back and the right shoulders with few symptoms like uh, nausea, vomiting and uh, sometimes fever. So when these symptoms comes, first diagnosis comes the cholecystitis or gallbladder stone and this is very common in general population and the most common reason for uh, presentation is today's hectic lifestyle with the fatty meals, junk food and other things. So how you, we will discuss how you differentiate with the other diseases like sometimes a patient comes with that I have acidity, I have gastritis. So we have to diagnose, we, we have to differentiate what is acidity and what are the symptoms of gallbladder stones? So these are the symptoms. Now the second comes the investigations. Investigations means how will detect, how will confirm that patient is suffering from a particular disease like gallbladder stone. So the first investigation or say the investigation of choice is ultrasound. And the ultrasound tells about the status of the gall stones, where they are lying, what are the current stage of gallbladder and it simultaneously it differentiates from the other diseases, other common conditions like, uh, like acidity, gastritis or general peptic ulcer like disease. So the ultrasound is the first investigation but there are some blood investigations also that are mandatory to do it like liver function tests like uh, to differentiate with the pancreatitis. So the serum amylase, serum lipase. Once it is diagnosed that the patient is having a gallstones and cholecystitis, the next comes the management. Next comes the management. How will manage the uh, these symptoms? So management is itself two types. First is the short, immediate, conservative management. So man conservative management comprises the uh, painkiller, antacids and antibiotics sometimes. But the proper management is surgery. Surgery is again uh, two types of surgery. The old one is a classical that is called open cholecystectomy, open surgery. And the second one is that is the latest that is going on daily to day to day. That is called laparoscopic cholecystectomy. What is laparoscopic cholecystectomy? Where the surgery is being done by few small buttonholes two, three, four, depends upon the uh, body structure and complexity of the disease. So this is called laparoscopic cholecystectomy. And laparoscopic cholecystectomy is a sort of daycare cholecystectomy, daycare procedure. Where the patient is get admitted on the morning, uh, get through all investigations, operated on the, uh, on the same day and could be discharged in the evening or late evening or sometimes in the morning next day. So this is a very common procedure and because the gallstones are increasingly common, increasingly, increasingly uh, common in the uh, current, uh, uh, this urban area, urban population mostly. So this is most common surgery is being performed in any hospital at today. And next comes the follow-up of this after surgery. The follow-up is uh, basically a... Uh, just uh, three days after that is the change of dressing, then the stitch removal after eight days. And the most important thing is how you will uh, 
uh, how, how prevention of I mean this uh, other symptom gastritis. So for the few weeks, like two to three weeks, we advise just to uh, divide from the this uh, uh, fat food uh, diets for just two to three days, uh, two to three weeks. Sorry. After that, they he can enjoy he can live with a normal life as usual. Right. So these are the few uh, uh, points that to be noted. But see, if you not get operated, if you not go to uh, have a proper treatment, that what are the complications of gallstone? So these are the most dreaded thing. These are the most uh, complex thing we have. We should avoid. There are the complications are like sometimes gallstones slips into the main. I advise to, to all my patient. Uh, there are few simple tips. If you are having a pain in upper part of the abdomen, that pain is not a common pain that is a sort of severe radiating to back, radiating to right shoulder and it is accompanied by nausea, feeling of nauseating, in fact sometimes vomiting, plus minus fever, then, direct, then consult your doctor, consult your physician you may have a gallbladder stone disease, you may have a cholecystitis and don't get delay and don't make it a complicated cholecystitis, pancreatitis, uh, CBD stone disease that is a very complex and difficult to manage. So I advise all my patients if they have these kind of symptoms, go to your doctor, go to your surgeon and take your advice in a proper time. Thank you.